All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to use Tasker Auto Input and KOWP to uh, streamline some things that maybe you do often on your phone. To show you two things that I've just put together real quick for you, I'm always adding events to my calendar. So um, instead of me opening my calendar, tapping on the plus to add a new event, I'm going to let Auto Input take care of it. And that's what this little icon right here is going to do. So it's, this is going to launch the app and go straight to my add new event. So here we go. Notice the app launches, boom, it's ready for me to type in a new event. All right, and that's all. Now, what auto input's doing? Tasker's opening, auto input's clicking the plus. I don't even, you can't even see it do it because it works so fast, but basically the app opens, Tasker's telling the app to open, and this plus auto input is automatically clicking on that. And as you can see, when I tap on that, it does bring up the new event. So, um, you know, that's one thing I'm going to show you how to do here. And then the other thing, yeah, sure, you're not going to do this, probably, but um, I do want to show you how you can scroll through a list as well. So watch what's going to happen here. Open settings, scroll, battery, boom, just like that. Now, what would, how does this, you know, what, what are the uses here? Maybe if you've ever been to this screen, you know, if you did the normal way, probably what most of us do is we go to our notification bar, we tap on the little gear up there, and then we scroll through our list until we see battery, then we tap on that and boom. So it takes like, you know, three seconds or something like that. But with auto input, boom, Open settings, scroll to battery, click on battery, it's there, right in front of you. So, you know, hopefully you do see the benefits of using auto input. Um, what we're going to do first, we're going to go into Tasker, and I'm going to show you the two tasks, show you how to make them. So we're going into Tasker. I already had the two tasks created. Uh, the first one we'll look at is Event Add. Now, yours may be a little bit different because you may use a different app to do your calendar. Now, yes, these things, some of these things, like um, the battery settings, you can actually do an activity launch an activity, I think is what it's called in KOWP to do that, but nonetheless, this tutorial is geared to show you how to use auto input if you do want to get to a certain app, click, click, click through some things, and boom, uh, get to whatever screen you're trying to get to much faster. So what we want to do is we want to launch an app, so I'm going to go through this process, I'm going to add these same three tasks here again, and I'm going to come back and delete them. So plus, tap on app, launch app, pick the app you want. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want to do A plus calendar or whatever calendar app you do. And what you want to make sure you do is always start a new copy. That way, auto input is going to be seeing the same screen every time it opens that app. Because, you know, sometimes if you have an app open and you back out of it and you open it back up, you're, at a, you're not necessarily at the start screen. So I hope that makes sense. Make sure you do that. So that's our first task. Now tell it to wait. How do we tell it to wait? Go to plus, type in wait. And I just had mine set up somewhere around like 500 or something like that. 500 uh, milliseconds, I believe that is, like half a second. And then auto input action. Here's where it can get a little bit buggy. It, it is on my phone sometimes. If you follow these steps, so this is how I get it to where it's not buggy. It doesn't freeze up on me or, or act all weird. So I go to plus. I'm going to look for auto input action. So auto and then boom, auto input action. We want to tap on the pencil. We want to go to Easy Setup, and then it says right here, Opening Notification Tray Now. Well, it doesn't open the notification tray for me, but here's what works for me. I tap on Close. It closes down the app, and I'm going to navigate. I'm not going to pull down my notification bar or anything. That's, what's caused, that's what causes my phone to get a little bit buggy. I'm going to go to the app that I want uh, auto input to see before it does anything. So I'm going to go to my notification, or no, my application window. I'm going to go to A plus calendar because that's the app I want to open. And this is the, the whenever uh, A plus calendar, whenever this app opens up, this is the screen that it will always open up to, um, assuming that I'm telling Tasker to open the app and always start with new copy, that thing we checked a moment ago. So this is the screen that I want to see. Now that I have the screen that I want to see and that I want auto, into, auto input to perform an action on, I'm going to go back to my notification bar. This selecting field right here, I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And notice what it says. Navigate to the app you want to act on. Go to the screen you want. Then come back here and click the Add button. Now, I'm only doing this now because, like I said, I only come to this screen when I'm ready to add. This is what does not cause bugs for me. So I'm going to tap on that plus. And now it's waiting for me to perform an action. I'm just, I haven't tapped on anything yet. What I want to do is I want to tap on this. When I do that, 
the notification bar should, and see it's not working, but it should have uh, pulled this little notification bar down, which is not. Notice what it says here. A plus calendar, blah, 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 reselect. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me close this out. If you run into this bug, I'm going to come back out of here. Now, this is the screen that I want auto input to act on, so I'm going to pull down. I'm going to go to reselect. And hopefully it's waiting for me to put an action in. I'm going to use my finger instead. That might do it. Plus, there we go. See how it pulls down that notification window? And I tapped on new event. Maybe it was because I was using my stylus. I don't know. But nonetheless, that's what I want. So I'm going to tap on accept. It's going to take me and tell me to go back to tasker. So I'm going to go back to tasker. And the element text was new event. It was that cross, that plus that I checked on, so I'm going to tap on that. The action I want to perform is a click. So when all that's said and done, and you can just leave all this stuff alone, when we back out of this, these are the same three things that I have added uh, up here already, so I don't need them again. But now let's test this. We can click this play down here and watch what's going to happen. It's going to open the app at a new, the fresh new screen for uh, this particular app. It's going to wait, and then it's going to add a new event. So let's click on play, boom, boom, ready to go, just like that. All right, now, uh, how do we put that in the KLWP? Well, what we do is, I'm gonna go and show you how to do that real quick, then we'll do the one where we have to scroll through a menu. So the calendar is where I have this going on at, so I'm gonna go to that font icon, which is calendar, this, this one right here. If I go over to touch, notice I'm launching shortcut. And then what do you what type of shortcut do you want to launch? You want to go to task shortcut? Um, please return to oh, okay. I gotta go back to Tasker real quick. Let me back out to the main menu of Tasker and now let me go back to KOWP. It gave me that error saying, you know, uh, unable to perform or whatever. Basically it means go back to the main screen of Tasker or something like that. Now I'm gonna tap on task shortcut in KOWP. Pick the one we did, event add. And what's going to happen is if you don't have an icon set down here, it's not going to let you add it by pressing this button. If you do not have an icon set, so go ahead and set one or it's going to give you the warning anyway. But I'm going to tap on that. That's the shortcut I want to perform. Boom, we're ready to go. That one's done. So going back to the home screen, tapping on that icon, open calendar, add new event, ready to go. All right, how do we do this one again? Go to settings, scroll, battery, opened. Let's go back into tasker. And it's some of the same stuff again, battery settings. Okay, we want to launch app. The app I want to launch is settings. Basically, uh, what it's going to launch is this thing right here. So that's okay. I'm not, I'm not going to go through that whole deal again. Uh, but however, make sure that you do. I didn't say always start a new copy. Maybe I should have done that. But most of the time when you open settings anyway, it's going to start at the, the top of the settings. So, you know, keep that checked. Always a good thing. Tell it to wait a little bit, just like we did a while ago. And now we want two auto input actions. And the reason why, let me go to settings real quick and show it to you. Notice when we open settings up, battery's not here. So what we have to do is we have to tell auto input to scroll a little bit. And I think what it automatically does is when it scrolls, it's going to scroll where I think this one will be at the top of the thing. So when it scrolls, it's going to do something like this, roughly. And notice battery does pop up. So I have to tell auto input to scroll, and then I have to tell it to click on battery. All right, so let's back out of this. How do we do it? I'm going to add those two actions, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to go to plus, uh, auto input action. So auto input action. Let's configure it. Easy setup. Let's close. Let's go to our settings menu. Of course, I could have swiped down on my notification bar, but nonetheless, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm at my settings menu. This is where I want to be. So again, you know, I ran into that bug while ago. I'm not going to use my stylus. I'm just going to use my finger to swipe down on my notification bar, selecting field. I'm at the screen I want to be, so I'm going to come down here and tap on add. And now it's waiting for me to do something. So I'm just going to tap somewhere randomly. You can tap wherever you want to be, quite honest with you. I'm, I'm going to tap right here. Boom. See, it did it again, dag nabbit. So let me pull down on my notification bar. Yep, see, it's acting all funky. I told you this is gonna happen. I, I thought I had it figured out, but maybe I didn't. All right, so let me go back into Tasker real quick. Let's see what it's going to do. Let me reselect. 
I tell you what, for right now, before I tap on reselect, I'm going to go back to the settings menu again. I'm kind of glad we're running into these bugs. That way you can see what type of problems we've run into um, with when trying to work with auto input. Maybe it's just my phone. I don't know. But anyway, I'm back at the screen. I want auto, in, auto input to perform an action. So I'm going to scroll down. It's already saying something, you know, but I want to reselect because I don't know what the heck just happened there. So I'm going to go to reselect. And now I'm going to touch a random spot. Now I'm just pointing, I'm going to touch right there with my finger. That's what I want to happen. When you touch something, you want it to pull down that notification bar and it's going to tell you what it picked up on. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to tell it to, it doesn't matter because the action we pick, I'm going to go ahead and click on accept. Don't touch anything going back to Tasker. Here's Tasker. And it doesn't really matter here uh, what you pick. I'm just going to pick this one down here. It's like an XY coordinate. Now the action you want to perform here is you want to scroll forward. You want to tell, instead of it actually clicking on Bluetooth or whatever I picked right then, I just want it to scroll. So it's not going to click on anything. It's just going to scroll forward. So everything else should be good. Let's tap on check. And I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two that I already have pre-made and I'm going to cut those off. That way Tasker won't perform those. So let's see what's going to happen. It should launch settings, wait half a second or whatever that is, and then it should scroll down. Let's see what happens. Okay, it did tap on Bluetooth. So we have to fix that. Ah, okay. Action still on click. So I need to tap on scroll forward. Let's make sure that action is correct. Scroll forward. Okay, it is selected. Maybe I didn't select it while ago. I thought I did, but we're good now. So again, we're run I'm glad I'm showing you these things that you can run into. Now it should work. So launch settings, wait, and now it's going to scroll. Let's see if it's going to work now. There we go. See how it scrolled automatically for us? So that's the first auto input action that we want to do. And then the second one that we want to do is this. We want to actually tell it to um, touch the battery. So I'm going to go to plus. I'm going to go to auto input action. Let's configure it. Let's go to easy setup. Let's close that. I'm going to close my navigation window for right now. Let's see if we run into that bug again where, you know, it's the same thing that's happened twice already. It didn't happen a while ago, but let's see. All right. I'm at the screen I want to be at. Now, we don't have to be, you know, like I said, when it scrolls, it scrolled automatically to somewhere right about there, but it's okay. You don't have to have it at the exact scroll point because when it scrolled a while ago, battery was showing. So I'm going to make sure uh, auto input picks up on this word battery when it touches. So to do that, I'm going to pull down on my notification screen, selecting field, I'm ready to add. Now let's see what's going to happen. What was happening a while ago was when I actually tapped on this, it actually pulled down that notification bar. I'm going to tap on battery and let's see what happens. See what ha that worked perfect. That's what we want to happen. So notice it's picking up on text and that's what we want it to do. We don't want it to tap on a point because, you know, battery is not going to be at that same spot. It's going to look for the word text and it's going to touch uh, or look for the word battery and it's going to touch that one. So I'm going to click accept. Let's open Tasker back up. And let's make sure it looks for the element text battery. Let's click on it. And this should be good to go. All right, so these two are still cut off. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, just to prove it to you, I'm going to just take those away because we should be good to go um, without those two. So let's see what happens. There it goes, boom. So it launched settings, it waited, it scrolled, and then it clicked on battery. Even though battery is down here, a while ago you noticed when I touched on it, it was up here somewhere because auto input's looking for the word battery. You don't want to tell it to tap on a particular point in this case because that battery might be in a different spot, but it knows to look for it, so to speak. And then what we can do there, you know, apply your uh, icon, go back into KOWP, apply that task shortcut just like we did for the calendar, and you know, we're good to go. So let's make sure these work. I just tapped on the battery, scroll, click on battery, good to go. And then um, we've already said that, or I've already showed you that that one works right there as well. So there you have it. That's like a little intro to auto input, I guess you could say. Um, you know, either just tapping on something or scrolling through a list of information. If you're interested in more videos, uh, 
with auto input or tasker or auto apps, you know, send a request at idomath.weebly.com slash K-O-W-P. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.